Look how pretty. So, so beautiful. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Chris, and today we are going to dive into the Sodium Fine Palette. This is amazing guys sorry i'm already spoiling for you guys super happy that it was worth the money this indie brand is called makeup scientist cosmetics the palette comes in this box now my box arrived just a bit damaged and things like that which honestly isn't that bad like i'm not upset like that it did come protected like she put a bunch of bubble wrap and then she put, she put this little bag it says uh, biohazard specimen bag. It's really cute. She put my receipt in here. Proof that I bought it, guys. And this I absolutely fell in love with when I saw the pictures. It is super creative. It is so well put together. Honestly, you guys, this right here is not cheap. This is solid. The design is absolutely adorable. Let me bring it up close so you can see. Sodium Fine. On the back of this palette, it gives just a little bit of information like it does contain talc. It has a 12 month shelf life once you open it and it is cruelty free. It's magnetic, just like so. <gasps> Look at these colors. Oh, you guys know I am a sucker for purple. Now we have two press glitters, which is the silver one and that purple one down at the bottom. We have six mattes and four shimmers. The other side of this, by the way, is a mirror. On the bottom it says, makeup is in your DNA. I thought that was really cute. Now, I know it's like this, but I actually have fun holding it like this. I held it just like this, which almost felt like a handheld mirror. I don't know if the owner did this on purpose, but Ooh, this was very smart on her end because I just, it's easy to grip. So let me go ahead and show you guys the pre-recorded swatches. I went ahead and I swatched every single shadow two times. I was waiting for one of the shadows to look kind of nuts when being swatched, but each of them did not disappoint. So let me go ahead and show you guys some swatches now. I used some of these shades, so I don't want to touch them in the swatches because you're going to see them perform. So let me take Eclipse. Beautiful. Let me take Comet. Um, let me take Chemical X, this black, and you know what, let me take Galaxy, this beautiful pressed glitter. Here they are on my fingers. Okay, I'm going to put them right here. Here we go, that's one, two, Ooh, keep going with that one, three, and four. Now this is a pressed glitter, so I'm not expecting it to look crazy. That's why I did it twice in the video that you guys saw. Look how pretty. So, so beautiful. So let me just go ahead into this eye demo. Today I use all Morphe brushes, I believe. Oh, and one of the Sugary Cosmetics brushes, which is just a really tiny detail brush, which I really like using, especially when... <laughs> hair was in my mouth <laughs> especially when I do like close detailed eye look so I start off the eye look by laying down some Kylie Cosmetics maple concealer on my lid then I took the M222 brush and I went into Atom Bomb which is that beautiful purple matte now, as you guys can see it shows up easily and it is definitely vibrant you can see that from a mile away using the same brush I went into period which is this pink shadow that has gold little specks inside it's kind of hard to tell i hope you guys can see that there's gold little specks inside there and i put it right next to the purple that i just laid down and just like the purple it shows up really easily i didn't have to dip in too many times next to period i went in with carver which is this beautiful orange matte and just like the pink and the purple this one did not disappoint then i went ahead guys and i cut my crease i haven't done that in a while but I was like, you know what, today we're cutting the crease. I did a pretty high cut crease and I went all the way out and kind of like a curved wing. And after doing that, I went ahead and I patted it in to make sure it was ready for the next eyeshadow pattern. I went in with the same three shadows with the same brush. This time I put the purple matte in the inner part of my lid. And then next to it, I put the orange one. And can I just say, I was a little upset when I put the orange one because I meant to put the pink one on my other eye. I have... Purple, then pink, then orange. On this side, I have purple, then orange, then pink. I was already knees deep into the orange, and I was just like, screw it. That's what's going to be. I don't even care. You just got to go with the flow. Then, as some of you might have guessed it, I put the pink one at the end. 
to clean up my line to make sure it got really close to that cut crease. I did use the tiny brush that I showed you earlier by Sugary Cosmetics. You can use any brush that you prefer to use, but I like to use a small one that's very tapered so that I can get right into that line. For my lower lash line, I went in with the JH39 brush, and I took a Tom and Bomb, which is that purple, and I ran it from the outer corner of my eye down a little past the middle. After doing that, I went back in with the orange matte, and I took that for the rest of the lower lash line. Then I went in with my M507 brush and I went back into the pink and I ran it under both shadows just to kind of soften that line. Next I took the gold shimmer right in the center which is AU with again this tiny sugary cosmetics brush and I used it dry, didn't wet it whatsoever and you can see it just pops right out. It's beautiful absolutely stunning. I also went ahead and I put it on my eyebrow bone. Not, not a lot that time. It's a little bit so it can shine. Now that I'm all done with my shadows, I went ahead with the Glam Light Calligrapher Liner. You guys know how I feel about this. A really good liner. Next was mascara. So I went in with the Tarte Big Ego Mascara. This is my favorite one. It really does bring out my lashes. Like, I don't even curl my lashes. Speaking of lashes, the ones that I'm using today is from Glam Light. It is the Paint Splash Lashes in purple. And that's it, you guys. That's what I created with the Sodium Fine Palette. Let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know what you think of this palette. Of course, I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye!